If you don't have the resources, you are dead. You are dead. I'm telling you, you are dead. This is my telling you. If you don't have the resources now, you are dead. You are conducting election without the resources, and you want to. He come up. He come up. We cannot stand. I'm going to kill you. Here. Bring out the resources now. In a war. In a war. Bring out the resources now. Imagine our next staff, the presiding officer, the police officer here. The presiding officer wants to conduct the election without the resources. Imagine. Imagine. See how the PDP people, they are here. They cancel us. See him, videoing. Because they have the resource sheet already. Bring out the resource sheet. This is what is happening. This is happening. This is what is happening. They had already written the results. 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 You see it? You see it? Election has not started at all. And the results are already written. They have already had the moment results. Had the moment results. This is the results sheet of this pulling. Already written. Already written. Already written. They have already written the results. They have already This is the already written results. Pre written results. Pre written results. So, they have already written the results. You see it? They have already written the results. Are you seeing it? In a pulling book, they have not started election. They had already written the results. They had already written the results. This is the result. He just it. He's alive. All of you. He knows everything. He knows everything. He knows everything. Everywhere. Stop it, man. Hey, hey, 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 man. This is this is the phone number of the INEC SBO for Umozi Ward 2 that distributed already written resource sheets to all the pulling boots. The five pulling boots in Umozi Ward 2. The phone number is 080-3260-2252. So he we run over for the phone number. No, I am So what's the phone number? Call it again. Zero eight two zero. Uh huh. Two two. Uh huh. Two two. Uh huh. Five two. Five two. So now, what do we? Do you have to tell INEC? Now you look like someone. Do you have job? Yeah. I'm working with What's the company? What's the hospital you are working with? Zenith Lab. Zenith Lab. Do you like the way Nigeria is? No, I don't know. You I, I, listen I don't to like me. Answer. You don't answer. like answer. you don't like the way Nigeria is, right? Yes. And then you are helping Nigeria to to to, to spoil. I don't know the yes. Why didn't you why didn't you check it? Tell us the truth so that we can forgive you. Yeah. You checked it and in and won. You checked it in the local government, true or false. You checked it. How much were you giving? How much? How much, How much they gave you? Uh, they gave how much? Fifty thousand naira. Who was the person that gave you the fifty thousand? Who gave you the fifty thousand? Talk now. Who is your money? The assistant. That is the deputy mayor of Ibozenot. Ogugu. Ikechuku. 
gave you 50,000 naira and gave you the result, right? He was the one that gave you the result. Obugo Ikejuku, not the SPO. Say the truth. If it is the SPO, say it now. Not the SPO. And the SPO is the one who made that bag. The deputy mayor of Ibozi North. Okay, Obugo Ikejuku. Discussion. He, 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 he or she, she gave me uh -huh. his way for the election. So I told him that he's I'm not it. I'm expecting that the SPO will bring it. So they forced me to search my bag. I don't know that that uh, the result sheet is inside my bag. So I just uh, uh, showed no, no, up because they wanted to hear me. What so is in the result sheet you showed us? So the result yeah, is okay. already uh, right. Uh -huh. There is now. There is there. Right it. Right. What is your name? What is your name? Ronald Ugu. Ugu da. Where are you from? Ibo Titi. You are from Ibo Titi. Who gave you this result? Local government. Who gave you? Who gave you? Anet gave you this result. I told you to come and do it here. Yeah? They pre already written results. This is the presiding officer. In Igogoro, Ozi Wong 2. Who me don't go to 004. Who me don't go to Already written results. And the election have not started. This is it. This is the presiding officer from Igwe Titi. He's the one that is masterminding this. This is this is the fraud that is happening in Igwe Zenot. You, are you married? With how many children? One or two. One or two. And you are still committing this crime. How will God, God answer your prayer? How will God answer your prayer? Hmm? How will God answer your prayer when you are doing this? This can be traced. Who withdrew the money? It can be traced. This is fifty thousand. That was given to him. Open, open your bag. Open the bag. That was given to him by Obugo, the deputy mayor. He was the Lord. Open your bag. This is it. This is it. What is that? Then? I already retain results. This is the man. This is what is happening in all the pulling goods in the boys and not and the federal constituents. Thank you. Gamba, what is your name? So I know you. My name is Ronald Uguda. Uguda, from yes. where? From Uhudu. Uhudu, in Igbo city local government. Yes. Who brought you for election in Igbo city? It's my friend from Chebozo. Chebozo, from which side of Enugu? From Ezago. Chebozo, who? Madukwe. Chebozo, Madukwe, from Ezago. Yes. So he brought you when? To Igwe Okay. So uh, what happened? How did he bring you here? Yeah. He walked here during the general election. Mm. He asked me that he's to come and... Hey, we to come and... 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 To come now, when you came for election today, who gave you the resource sheet you, you brought here? So they gave me the resource sheet. Who? Huh? Who? From uh, um, uh, the 
from the eye neck. From the eye, which of the eye neck gave you the result sheet? The SPO gave me the bag. But the I SPO know, gave you the bag. Uh, yes. What's the name of the SPO? I don't know her name. You don't know her name. You don't know my family. When she gave you the result, the, the bag, did you check the contents? This is the first time I work. Did you check the contents in the I bag? I check, but I don't know how the team looks. Did you see the that result sheet before you brought it here? Okay. I don't know the time check the results is, uh, is inside it. Or uh, the time I, I actually inside this on this table and see that uh, the eye neck result is there. But you said you went for training. I went for training. So what did you learn in the training? If not that you're supposed to check everything, including the results sheet. And before you start election, and before you start election, you will show everybody the results sheet. Why didn't you do it? What was the instruction the SPO gave you? If you want to survive this thing, start talking the truth. So because of 50,000, you are destroying the life of over 600 people here. Eh? This, did, you, did, you tell, did you tell your colleagues? Did you tell your colleagues? Eh? Did you tell your colleagues? So, so now listen to me, listen to me. When they gave you the money, what did they tell you? That PDP will win, right? But when they gave you the money and the, the result sheet, you saw that it was written by PDP. You saw the result. You saw the result. And it was already PDP. I'm actually going to you here. That's a fresh. So she, she just. The SPO. You, uh, the SPO. Uh, told me that it's everything. When we finish, he will brought the team. And told me that it's. I don't know that the result sheet is inside this place. Do you know you are still lying and you will die? Yeah, I if they finish the election, uh, so I should give them the results. But I don't know that they are already right. That, uh, that's Bring out the phone number of the SPU. Bring, bring, the, bring your bring. SPO, INEC, SPO, yes. SPO, INEC. This is the phone number of the INEC SPO. Press people. Uh, it is my it's with pain that I address the press this afternoon uh, on the goings on on the conduct of the rerun election going on in my constituency. Um, what is going on right now has not come to us by like surprise because. Days ago, we had sounded this alarm and informed the various security agencies as, as to what the opponent, the PDP candidate, was planning to do. We had indicated that having failed to connect with our people and with the margin of lead that I have in this election, which is up to 12,570 votes, while we have only 166 polling units remaining to go. Their only resort was to rigging, desire rigging, writing of results of the election. Now, we know that we have an electoral arbiter, which is the INEC. And I'm still very hopeful that INEC, in this case, is going to do exactly the right thing. 
they have promised it because the electoral process has is clearly defined in the act there are procedures for organizing a credible election all those procedures have been set aside and what we see is just a bizarre manipulation of the process so the beavers is the major instrument of conducting a credible election voters will have to be accredited before they vote in other words the number of votes that will be recorded on the result sheet will always have to tally with the reverse report. A situation whereby this opponent, this candidate of PDP, opened up a voting place by 2 a.m. this morning, and people in RG, in the house of, uh, of a, a councillor of PDP, Kelechi is his name, in Nkwaj, we have reported this also to the security, various security agencies. He, they opened a voting there, and they've been busy thumb printing ballot papers. Thumb printing ballot papers. Now, if voting had opened, and they decided to vote for PDP after due accreditation with the Beavers machine, we have no problem with it because we have our supporters in the large in the in large numbers. But to disregard the due process and think that after stuffing ballot papers with, with thumb printed ballot papers, st after stuffing the ballot boxes with thumb printed ballot papers, they can bring it into the result. That will be the most bizarre thing that will happen. And I'm sure, and I'm very confident that the INEC will not condone that. So it is 12 o'clock, after 12 o'clock, but I needed to let the world know that what is going on in my constituency now is nothing at all like an election. It is no election at all. There is no major voting unit, polling unit, where you have a result sheet. None. They have hijacked the result sheets and they hope to write it. So after writing it, how do they hope to now enter it into the Beaver's machine? And after doing all the, all, all the manipulations how do they now hope to bring it to the collision centers and declare it that remains to be seen but i am telling the world i'm telling INEC, i'm telling the security agencies that so far across the constituency in the two local governments in the western not local government in the local government the exercise is not going on at all how can an exercise go on when you don't have resource sheet for the polling unit. And days ago, we had intimidated, intimidated everybody that what they planned to do was simply to hijack the resource sheets and go and write it and disregard the beaver's machine and disregard the due process. I think it is the most um, bizarre thing that will happen. And in our electoral process right now, we are trying to recover from the trust deficit that the Nigerian people already have. And this definitely is not the way to go. And I'm sure that INEC understands this. And I'm sure that INEC had made good preparations. This is an off-season election. All the beavers machines are working. But they have decided to disregard it and resort to this kind of...